what you do about the forthcoming elections and the order that they have to take. We have this morning Mr. Muyawa Shobo, who is a legal practitioner. Thank you for coming on today. Uh, thank you and good morning. Already we see them taking sides, digging their heels in the Senate. Uh, perhaps the National Assembly too, because they say they have agreed on the order of the elections and then uh, they'll be looking to the president, mm -hmm. uh, whether or not he's going to assent to that. But then, looking through all of this, how uh, you hear the lawmakers say, no, we will not accept it, this is targeted at the president. On the other hand, the National Assembly thinks, look, if we've taken a position, so be it. Why do you think there's so much furor? I mean, this whole about uh, uh, okay. the order of elections. Well, thank you. Thank you for ha having me. You see, you have to think about the bandwagon effect of an election. That's what they're all thinking about. If you had the presidency for us, if you have the... Personally, I would have one day election. And it's just take care of all this Oh, stuff. you're part of that group. One day general one day, election. One day general election, there's no bandwagon effect. We, we don't have to shut down the country for, for three, five, four, five days, shut down the economy, so just to have an election. And Can we have to, do that? It, it's doable. Capacity I mean, it, it, If there's a will, there's always a way. We have the capacity. Other countries are doing it. Only because the sanctity of this election is so important. If we stretch it over a very long time, if we don't, if we just have one day, then we'll have all these issues facing us, conf confronting us. We are a country of, what, 160, 180 uh, million people. We, 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 we have the capacity. We go about uh, beating our chest on our capacity to do business, to do this, and uh, uh, the whole world is watching us. Hmm. Isn't that what a futuristic thing? It, it, it's, it's because not. look at where we're coming from. We've yes. been taking it in peace, mate. just gradually, chipping at the block, chipping away at that. And uh, Because if you look at the elections we've had, even where we have just a state election, mm -hmm. You see some of the challenges we used to have, and how much more when you have two states, or when you now have all of them together. Mm -hmm. There are many who will tell you clearly, no, we, and it may not just have the capacity to handle that. They will be mm -hmm. nightmarish. But, but that's, 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 that's an important um, aspect of it. But think about the other side. What we are confronting now, um, stretching the election um, over a period of time, and the controversy that is going to, and that controversy, I'm telling you, is going to affect the validity of this election at the end of the day. People are going to end up in court. Several things will go wrong. I mean, you want to take that over the fact of, okay, let's sit down and look at the logistics. Of, we have, inter we but, have, we have, we have information people technology now. We have, we I have, agree people will always go to court, yeah, no matter I how know, the election goes. But, 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 but then you don't create a uh, fertile ground for, for such. We're going through this, there will, be, there will be accusations like we have now. Controversy leading to the election. Uh, the election it, it will already be undermined even before you get the result. Are you implying sure. that it, um, it's a ploy, a deliberate ploy to ensure that the, the election is not seen to be credible? Well, I, 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 don't, I don't think so. I think there's an intention, uh, perhaps a, a conspiracy, to undermine the election. I just see people who are not looking at, one, the concerns of the electorate. What it takes to go to the to the to the polling booth. I mean, the people involved, the the period of voters' apathy and so on and so forth. I mean, they're only looking at themselves how it will affect their position. I understand that, but I don't think there's a as a ploy, so to say. I think uh, uh, some people are trying to do the best they could, okay, and they have good in intentions, but. Uh, the road to hell is, is littered with good intentions. So you, 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 have to, you have to take it from that aspect and look at it. Which method or what method is the best for an election? Because uh, Everywhere you look, Shibu, international practice is a one-day, two-day election rather than this, this stretch. You know, uh, I, I like has said that this uh, elections coming in 2019 will be one of the most credible or best elections we've ever experienced in the country because they're putting in some measures in place side by side the amendment of the Electoral Act. One of the items that has been looked at is the digitization, should I say, uh, of the process. Mm. Don't you feel that that in, on its own would have raised the bars for INEC from where we're coming from to where we're heading to in 2019? It's supposed to. It's supposed to in the sense that um, what Chamberlain just mentioned that look at where we're coming from. You make progress. You, just go, you don't go back. You have to take advantage of, 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 uh, of that digitization. 
I mean, to reduce the time, and that will affect the credibility of the election. If INEC is really serious about, about, about going by uh, international best practice, we'll be looking at reducing the time, not stretching it to the point that now we have a controversy uh, that, to me, and to reasonable people, will actually undermine the validity of the, before we even get there. You see, you see how the past few days, what we've been dealing with from, from, the, from the National Assembly, INEC, the presidency, and so on. Election is only about what? About a year away? And so it's a serious issue. I will push and advocate for reducing the time, making it short, straightforward. It's just picking people who are going to represent us and who are going to rule us. It's not, it's not, it's not rocket science, like you say. And if other countries, even small African countries are doing it, uh, less in doubt, countries are doing it. We, we have to look forward to that and just not stick to the past position of a, we have to have this and we have to have that over a period of time, creating uh, suspicion. But have you looked at the factors that might be working in favor of those that have had these elections in one day? Many of these countries do not have the kind of the peculiar situations we have in Nigeria where we have uh, issues of ethnic, et ethnic issues, we have religious issues. Even within the ethnic divides, there are still sub-ethnic divides. So these are issues that sometimes play a major role in, in the conversations around elections or selections of who comes out to rule. Now on the other side of it is the question of ideology of the political parties. So these are some of the arguments that are playing in the Nigerian political space. Have you considered that? No, I, I actually consider that. If, if you, that, that argument actually should be in favor of shortening the time so that people won't have time to sit down and think about, oh, this ethnicity or this religion and so on and so, so forth. You list the candidates. People choose. I, I mean, we all voted before. It's just about choosing that. And you have to think about if elections are deemed not valid, it affects the real essence of democracy. So everything that we do in this regard must be to protect that democracy, its essence, which is people's right to choose. And when you, when you, when you consider that, you will, you will reasonably think that the shorter it takes, yes, I, I think about all these logistical issues and the problems, but I'm saying we can take care of it with current technology that we have. We didn't used to have electronic voting. Now we have it. We have electronic validation oh, of do voters. We, do we really we have, have it? Well, I mean, that's, that's what is in our next I mean, the last time we went to, to vote, they had these little machines so that, that we, we all look at. And, 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 and it worked. You had problems here and there. That's the way forward. Digitization. And when we take advantage of digitization, we can actually shorten the period of election so as to you know, get rid uh, of all these suspicions mm. between the presidency and the, and the, and the, and the politicians. And at the end of the day, they have to think of us. Okay, what it takes, what time it takes for us to go. Vote as a party. I mean, you're sitting down there. Will they ordinarily think, think of us or we have to make them think of us? And are we doing that enough? Well, it's, one is their responsibility to think of us. <laughs> That's why they are yeah, but, but representatives. If, so if, they're, if, they're, if, they're not, if they're not thinking of us, then they're feeling their responsibilities now. But if they're not doing it, yes, we have the right now to make them to think of it. Le let's look at this. Once you shut down the whole country, think about the economic effect alone. Money has been lost. And if you do that over a week, well, then, you know, yes, I understand. Yeah, well, it won't be back to back. There'll be uh, an interval. I, I know. As but, currently suggested. Yeah, but, but if, 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 you, if you look at the cumulative effect economically, it's, 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 it, to me, I, I'm just saying, let's just find a way to shorten the period they are to it, ask, ask ourselves, how do they do it in other places? Well, and we it's okay. okay.